Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create these film slide transitions in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. Alright, you can see I have created a full HD resolution sequence, and I've got two different video clips in the timeline. In the next step, we need some assets for the transition. I already have some assets on my computer. You can download these free limited assets using the link provided in the video description. So before we proceed, I am excited to announce that I have just added the full and premium pack of this amazing film slide transition to my store, available for only $5. This comprehensive pack features an impressive collection of 34 unique, high-quality film frame overlays that will bring a vintage touch to your project. Projects. Additionally, you will receive 11 distinct top-notch sound effects that perfectly complement the visual transitions, along with 10 expertly crafted film slide transition presets to enhance your footage seamlessly. It's super easy to use, just drag and drop onto your footage. If you're interested in transforming your videos with this versatile pack, you can find the full pack link in the video description. I hope this pack will save you a ton of time. Firstly, let's drag and drop a sound effect and a film frame overlay inside the project panel. Now, we need to move the time indicator to the middle position between two video clips, because this will be the center point of the transition. Next, let's move the time indicator 12 frames backward. You can do this by hitting the left arrow key 12 times to skip 12 frames. Next, let's drag and drop the film frame overlay to this position in the timeline. After that, we may need to select set to frame size to adjust the resolution. After that, let's right click on the film frame overlay and then click on speed and duration. Here, I am going to make the film frame overlay duration around 24 frames. Next, click on OK. In the next step, we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Here, we have to select the same settings as the sequence and then we have to drag and drop the adjustment layer to the timeline in video layer 3. Also, we need to adjust the duration of the adjustment layer. All right, our film frame overlay and the adjustment layer is ready to use. In the following step, we have to move over to the effects panel to import the preset file. Let's right click on the effects panel and then click on import presets. Now we need to locate the folder where we saved our downloaded preset file. Finally, click on the open button to initiate the import process. After the preset file has been successfully imported, you should see a list of the new presets displayed in the presets panel, which is ready for you to use in your project. Now let's drag and drop the first preset onto the adjustment layer. And then we have to drag and drop the second preset onto the film frame overlay. All right, now we are done. After applying the presets, you may notice that the screen remains black, indicating that further adjustments are needed. First, ensure that the film frame overlay is properly selected to provide the desired visual context. Next, navigate to the effect controls panel. Next, let's find the opacity section. After that, click on the drop down menu for the blending mode parameter to explore the available options. From this list, select the screen mode, which is particularly effective for brightening images and blending layers seamlessly. Keep in mind that you can experiment with other blending modes based on your specific footage and creative vision, as each mode offers distinct effects that can enhance your project. All right, now we are done. With these couple of steps, we have created this film slide transition. Lastly, we need to incorporate the transition sound effect to enhance the visual effect. This audio element will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can create really simple and nice film slide transitions in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.